Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. We are going to be playing with some yummy eco in this video. I'm going to be using Jesmini AC100, but just know that whatever eco pour that you currently have at home, you can use the same exact thing. We're gonna be using this beautiful teacup mold from Moles and Shapes. I am a Moles and Shapes ambassador. I do not earn commission from sales, but I will link everything down below for you. This mold is a beauty. I've used it multiple times. What I would really love to do one day, let me know in the comment section if you think I should. I wanna make a whole set. I wanna make like coasters, matching tray, matching bowl, matching plates. That whole vibe I think would work so, so beautifully. But let me know if you think that's something I should do. Now seeing as spring is in the air and the birds are singing, I had to use this silk screen. If you don't know, I did fall through a rabbit hole of silk screens and I am obsessed with them, guys. I think they are absolutely beautiful and they are the most simplest, most perfect way to elevate your eco game. This one here with all of those birds on the branch, how beautiful would that look on that tray? It would just be utter home decor perfection, okay? Colour-wise, this was tricky. I want to go spring vibes. I want to step outside my comfort zone and go for bright spring colours. The kind of colours where, you know, that make you smile. But I couldn't do it. <laughs> I really wanted to. I wanted to go bright green or bright orange and yellow. I, I just, I just feel I'm not ready I'm not ready for that I still feel like I like the more muted tones I either like dark and moody tones or the real muted neutral tones on this so I've mixed and measured out my Jesmini AC100 now you will have seen there I did pass the powder through a sieve that's a big mistake I did in a recent video I usually do it but I just didn't do it that time and it's so so important especially my Jesmini AC100 has now been in my craft room for around about 10, 11 months and it is almost near its sell-by date. Like it's almost past the point of being able to use it. So it's so important to get it through that sieve. And I am using the Sun-Kissed Pigment from the Homeware Design Co range. Now, these pigments are incredible. I will link her down below again. Again, I don't earn commission. It's just a discount code for you guys. But how beautiful is this colour? Now, it is more brighter than neutral but it's got a beautiful peachy real pale kind of terracotta color going on and I just think it's going to work stunningly with these silk screens. I am pouring from quite high up to minimize those bubbles that's something I've started doing recently and I just feel like it gives such a better result. I only made enough for three cups that was not intentional I just couldn't remember how much to mix up and three is a good number three is a good number. I'm just smoothing out the top to get rid of those air bubbles before I give them all a bit of a shimmy and a shake and I demold after about 30 to 40 minutes and leave them overnight on my cake rack to fully dry out. This is 24 hours later. Now another tricky part for me was choosing which color to use. Straight away I was thinking of white but then putting the white up against this real pale peachy neutral shade I just didn't think it was going to be enough it wasn't going to give me the oh wow impact that I was really really looking for and these silk screens oh, again they are from Ollicraft on Amazon and Ollicraft silk screens give you two per pack which I just think is amazing because if you ruin one or if one gets to the point where you can't reuse it these are washable reusable silk screens wash in warm soapy water they they retain their stickiness and just use them over and over but if it gets to the point where you just can't do that anymore you've got a second set which I absolutely love placing them as central as possible I want it central but I don't want it central um I want the bird I want the bird to be central so at this point I don't care that the bottom of the bird's tail or some of the leaves are going off of the cup I decided to go with black I I just knew that black would give me that oh I love it kind of feeling and that is the feeling that I crave when I'm doing something like this I love it the detail in this is just so pretty and the black was definitely for me 
the black was for sure the best choice. I just think white would just look way too washed out. The feathers, all of the scratch marks in the in the feather design, I mean, it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I can imagine this at like a National Trust property or a like English heritage place where you go to the shop at the end and you've got these bird print tea towels and these bird print coasters and things like that. But I have to be honest with you guys, out of all of the birds on this silk screen, that first one was my absolute favourite. I was going to do a combination, like one different bird on each coaster, but my heart was just saying, don't do it. Um, so this one here is this, my second favourite. So I went with this one. Again, I didn't completely centre it. There are a few leaves off of the side, a bit of the tail, some branches are off the side. Um, but I was happy with that. I want the bird to be the centre point of the cup. The rest kind of didn't really matter to me. But what I love about this one is the fact that it goes over onto the handle as well. I love that. It's just a little bit of detail. Again, it's giving me National Trust vibes. <laughs> it's giving me Country Cottage vibes. And I love these so, so much. The This image, I'm telling you, it does something to me. It makes me smile. It makes me happy. I decided that I want to stick to that image. And again, it's not that I don't want to go outside of my comfort zone. It's really, well, I don't. Let's be honest. I don't. I like what I like. Um, None of the other stencils were making me feel the way this one was. So whilst I've already used one, I did decide to go ahead and get another clean one out so I can just quickly do it and wash them both together. And they do wash up real nice. Um, but yeah, this one here was everything. It screams spring. It screams new life. All of that jazz. I actually put on my Instagram the other day if anyone is affected by the full moon. We just had the full moon, didn't we? And I was like, is anyone affected by the full moon? How does it make you feel? 99% of people probably thought I was nuts. They were like, no, are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what it is. I feel so energized with a full moon. It's like a whole new month ahead. It's excitement. You don't know what's to come. You don't know what's around the corner. It's just pure positivity for me. I feel a crazy level of energy when we have a full moon. Um, a couple of people did say it, it, it puts them in certain moods. But for me, it's all about excitement and a whole new month ahead you just don't know what's around the corner I'm repeating myself oh my gosh stop but yeah let me know let me know if a full moon affects you at all but um the spring my home channel you would have seen I've been on a lot of walks with George the birds are singing the sun was shining flowers are out it is it is just filling me with such excitement to spring clean I know sit down <laughs> are you shocked um but yeah if you're with me on my home channel as well it, it is definitely I'm definitely kind of feeling very very happy with the spring on its way you know you're just getting a bit more warmer weather the birds are going crazy there's flowers coming out. It's just a whole thing, guys. It's a whole thing. I am usually an autumn winter girl, let's be honest. But <laughs> once I'm over it, I'm over it. And then I just want new life to come in the garden and all of that jazz. Okay, finishing these off. Um, you can use a wax over the acrylic paint. Do not use the AC100 acrylic sealer. It will make your paint bleed all over the place it just doesn't do a great job at all but wax works really well and this is the finishing wax by homeware design co the same place where i get the pigments so again all of that is down below not affiliate you guys get your discount code i do not earn any money from this at all same with molds and shapes i do not earn commission so i don't want you thinking i'm just plugging these things because i'm getting money for it i'm not i just genuinely love the homeware design co pigments and of course molds and shapes who have been an incredible support to me from day one thank you for the mold i've used it many times now it's a couple of years old but um yeah hope you've loved this video and i hope you are feeling that sense of renewal when it comes to the spring although i i know that most of my friends in canada and america are still getting snow right now but it will come it will come i hope you've loved it and felt inspired and i will see you all in the next video bye